For the next 30 days, I'm gonna answer the question on the entire population's mind. What are these people doing? Okay, seriously though, for the next 30 days, I'm gonna become a CrossFitter. Wikipedia describes CrossFit as, CrossFit is a strength, conditioning, and overall fitness program consisting mainly of a mix of aerobic exercise, calisthenics, and Olympic weightlifting. However, from the outside, all I actually hear about CrossFit is how many injuries these athletes get. I mean, it's not surprising considering, all right, okay, that's enough. My shoulders can't take any more of that. It seems like they're more focused on finishing faster than everyone else than actually performing strict form for maximum gains. But if the sport is full of injuries, bad form and ego, then why is it so damn popular? With the CrossFit Games handing out a huge $300,000 and the title of the world's fittest for the first place male and female, surely there's more to this than meets the eye. I had to get to the bottom of this sport to find out what was really going on. So I signed up to my local CrossFit gym, or as CrossFitters say, a box. When I got there, I was immediately greeted by a man a mountain by the name of Royce. Royce looked like he had walked straight off the set of Spartan. He wasn't any regular coach. He was currently the fittest man in Australia and 16th in the world after his recent success in the 2021 CrossFit Games. So you could say I was in pretty good hands. And before I actually just jump straight into my first CrossFit workout, I actually had to do two weeks of one-on-one -on -one coaching just to get the fundamental movements down to make sure that I wouldn't injure myself. Fortunately for me, cat's out of the bag, but I actually did CrossFit eight years ago. And while it was a long time ago, the muscle memory came straight back. But just cause you've got your license doesn't mean you're a good driver. So sure I could do butterfly pull-ups and I could clean a bar, but that doesn't actually mean that I was strong or fit, which was extremely true when it came time to do my first official WOD. WOD? What is that? It stands for workout of the day. It's a CrossFit term. Get used to it. Day one's WOD consisted of as many rounds as possible of 10 chest bar pull-ups, 15 push-ups, and 20 single leg squats. And after every three rounds, there's a 400 meter run. Bang, I was off. I was pretty confident going in. I'm a ninja warrior and I'm a calisthenics athlete, so all push-ups and pull-ups are my specialty. The first three rounds went fairly quick and I set off for my first 400 meter run. Rounds four and five, I had slowed right down. Perhaps I had gone out too hard at the start or perhaps I just wasn't as fit as I once thought because round six was the beginning of the end for me. I began to feel super dizzy. My lungs were burning and I had a metallic taste in my mouth. And halfway through round six and 18 minutes into the workout, I surrendered to the CrossFit gods and I quit. What happened next was actually too sexy to show on YouTube, but let me just say, I apologize to the garbage man who had to clean it up. Right, so what actually happened? As someone that makes a living off being fit and healthy, why couldn't I finish a single CrossFit workout? Well, the usual workout for someone is split up into two categories, cardio and strength. One day they might lift weights and the next day they'll go for a run. However, CrossFit attempts to combine both of these into the one workout. This means we can't just be good at deadlifts and running, we have to be good at deadlifts when we are gasping for air. And we have to be good at running when our hamstrings are heavily fatigued. All of this requires our heart to pump blood around the body efficiently. But if this is your first CrossFit workout in eight years, what your heart does instead is it pumps too much blood to your muscles and takes too much away from your brain and your digestive system, which makes you feel dizzy and nauseous and ends up making you feel sick. Now, the only way to really overcome this is to literally just keep doing that style of workout until your heart becomes a custom of the style and intensity of CrossFit training. So that's exactly what I did. I kept coming to class, putting my body through new movements and training my heart to respond to the new stimulus that I was putting it through. Days two to nine were really difficult. I felt quite slow and lethargic every day. I would tire easily, and after each workout, I would feel very lightheaded. Now, usually that would be extremely alarming for someone that's very unfamiliar with this kind of workout. However, fortunately for me, these are all things I'd experienced before, because I knew that as long as I kept turning up, eventually I would begin to reap the magnitude of rewards this style of training provides to those who are willing to push past the pain. Okay. And on day 10, I was finally rewarded. If you wanna know one of the best things about CrossFit, it's hands down this moment right now. This euphoria that you feel post-workout when you've really pushed and you've earned it. And the beautiful thing is, I created this moment through the decisions that I made earlier today in order to get to this workout, and this is the reward I get. And I think that's the beautiful thing, is that you can create these moments too, but you just have to make the right decisions in your life. I think far too many people sit down and wait for these things to come to them. And that's just not how life works. And it's one thing that is definitely guaranteed in life. You'll be rewarded for your hard work when it comes to exercise. However, naturally, just as I was finding my flow, 
the whole entire city went into lockdown. No, just as I was starting to look forward to the workouts, I lost all of my momentum and I gave up. Or did I? No, come on, who do you think I am? The community on this channel does not give up that easy. We stare fear in the face and take on the challenge. Right, unfortunately we're in lockdown at the moment, so um, we have to do a home wad. And today's home wad is a 300 meter run and a 100 meters of lunges. Even when we're in lockdown, gotta keep it moving, gotta keep going. These quads. Let's go lunge it out. Make sure you subscribe. One like for every lunge I do. I'm doing 69 million. Days 11 to 18, I kept the body moving. Each day was a different wad with a different physical challenge. But then came day 15. And day 15 was by far the hardest of them all. For the past hour, at least, I've been battling with myself back and forth. I'm really up and down whether I work out or not. I'm feeling kind of flat, that's all. I'm feeling very flat today. I decided to push through the workout. It was a classic case of don't let your feelings dictate your actions, let your actions dictate the way you feel. And surely enough, it changed the way I felt that day. It was extremely difficult to get through that. I wasn't enjoying it, I wasn't trying to get faster, just doing it. Um, and I feel much better. I think I need to acknowledge the fact that I'm feeling really flat today. I still managed to run 2.4 kilometers, do 100 push ups, and about 100 meters worth of bear crawls. But it doesn't feel like that when you're doing CrossFit because the way it's structured and broken up, it feels much more manageable. And I'm finding that a really, really effective way for someone like myself to get really fit quite fast. Now this seriously can't be understated. The sheer amount of volume that I've been doing in these workouts is far beyond what I would ever usually do. And it's because of the amazing structure of CrossFit wads. Exercise is a very mentally taxing thing to do, but by structuring each workout into rounds and reps with time caps, it creates a lot of mini challenges within a larger workout. It's kind of like the same way a book has chapters and you think to yourself, ah, just two more pages and then I finish the chapter. And there's a massive sense of accomplishment every time you finish a chapter or finish a round of a workout. Now I understand that general weightlifting also uses the structure of rounds and reps. However, with weights, you have a long rest at the end of every set. So mentally, it's not as hard to push through a workout. Whereas with CrossFit, you're literally working non-stop from the start to the end of the workout. So every single time you finish a round, it gives you this massive accomplishment and sense that you're one step closer to finally finishing the workout and catching your breath. The rest of the 30 days flew by and I was loving every second of it. Well, almost every second. I was hitting personal records on a bunch of lifts. I wasn't feeling sick after every workout. And in fact, I was actually recovering so freaking fast that I had way more energy every single day. Who would have thought that working out sucks when you're not used to it? It makes you feel sick, tired, and you're slower than everyone else. But if you keep doing it, then eventually, you not only stop feeling sick, you actually start feeling euphoric. You have more energy, you get faster, stronger, you reduce stress, improve mental health, and live longer. Oh wait, literally every single fitness video on the internet says that, but people still don't wanna do it. Now that sounds great and all, Ben, but the true test will be to see if I can finish my day one workouts. You know, the, 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 the dumpster puke workout? Yeah. Yeah, that one. As many rounds as possible of 10 chest bar pull-ups, 15 push-ups, and 20 single leg squats. And after every three rounds, there's a 400 meter run. Now, last time I quit at 18 minutes in and I only completed five rounds. It was time to throw down. And boom, I was out the gates. I was working harder than an ugly stripper and round one was a breeze. Round two hit me harder than Will Smith, but moments later, it was old news because round three was here to stay. I started to find my flow. Legs were heavy, mum's spaghetti, then straight into my first 400 meter run of the workout. I was five minutes into the workout and already 45 seconds ahead of my day one time. Now, was I fitter or was I just going too hard too early? I came off the run feeling super damn sexy in the, in the gym. However, when round five hit, I was beginning to feel the fatigue. My heart rate was like the price of Bitcoin, up and down in a matter of minutes. I was now, no joke, two minutes and 45 seconds ahead of my day one time, and I was feeling super chuffed about it. I kept up the pace and headed off for my second 400 meter run. Meanwhile, previous Ben from 30 days ago had just quit and was heading outside to throw up everywhere. I returned from my run and smashed out as many reps as I could in my seventh round before the time was up. Whoa, yes, not only did I crush my previous time, I did an additional one and a half rounds and a 400 meter run, and I didn't even feel sick. I actually felt great. So what should you do? What's my advice? I think you should do CrossFit. I'm serious. Go to Google right now and search up my local CrossFit gym. Oh my
my colorful See ya. Night.